Okay, so now we're going to install our 64 gigabytes of RAM. So let's get to that. And I already consulted the manual uh, as far as which slots to populate. So I just flipped those up so I'm not putting RAM in the wrong spot. So, man, this stuff. This is some pretty serious RAM we got going on here. And uh, it was not cheap. So, let's see. Okay, just making sure I get the key right. One. Unfortunately, I really wanted that Trident RGB RAM that just looks amazing in the systems, but uh, this was the one that everyone seemed to agree was the right RAM for this setup, and it didn't have the RGB, so 900 bucks for the RAM and no RGBs, sad. So this board has the something I've never seen before, whereas uh, only one side flips up. I guess that's a well, maybe it's a new thing. I don't know. I've never seen it before, but kind of nice. So the last thing I'll mention about this is that you can see that this RAM. Make sure I got it in, in focus here. You know, it says AMD compatible on it. Now, I know that, you know, any RAM is supposed to be compatible, but my understanding is that Threadripper just does things differently and that this memory is special, specially designed to work with that. So, I don't know, for what it's worth, I'm just uh, putting it out there. If you're going to spend this amount of money on a build, you want it to work awesome. You don't want to be fighting with blue screens all the time or just not being able to get the performance that you paid for. So... Uh, it pays when you're in this level of build to do your research and just make sure that you uh, are going to get what you want out of it. So, I mean, we'll see. This is remains to be seen <laughs> if I'm going to get what I want out of it. But uh, we're going to find out in a minute. Thanks for watching.